warning people of the train. Oh, oh. <laughs> we were almost in S1. The train wasn't that bad, I don't know what people were complaining about. We're now on a ship. We're just gonna chill out for a few hours while some of the people went to go and see the high dam. And then this afternoon, we're gonna have some fun activities today. This is our room on the ship. Pretty sweet. We're about to get on one of these. Yeah. Yeah. The Bob Marley. Hello, Voluka. Hello, Voluka. Never think of the Nile that clean. See how clear? Is this much cleaner than Thames River? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. through the Egyptian market and we're haggling with these dudes who start off at like 500 pounds and they all remember us and it goes down to like 25 pounds is the actual price that you end up paying it's insane it's so weird compared to home where like you just pay the set price and then you walk out the shop and if you walk out the shop the owner is just like oh well there they go but here they will come chasing after you and try to sell it to you no matter what yoshin has been haggling a lot with the dudes I got robbed though. <laughs> He's been robbed multiple times. Even though I've been arguing, I still got robbed. Amazing experience. from Egypt. So we're on the plane to Abu Simbel and then from there we're gonna go and check out the temples.
Welcome to Abu Sambur. That's Ramses the Second's tomb. We're not really allowed to take pictures in there, and the guys come running after us to try and get a bribe if you do. That guy's head is missing, but apparently it's from an earthquake. Absolutely amazing detail in how that they, they carved the things out of the wall and how well preserved it all is. Finally moving. On their knees, on their on the like on, like this, and then they push the baby. Yeah. So they push the baby into what? Into water? Like, no, no. Like someone pick up the baby. So they're sitting on the birth chair, and then some of look. See the baby upside down. So this is how women would give birth in the ancient times. Even in ancient Egypt, they're a little bit dodgy. So this represents fertility. And this is the Nile. So this basically meant that the Nile brought fertility to the land. We just visited the Komombo temple where the, the crocodiles were there. They had a sacrificing area. And then next to the sacrificing area was places, there was the doctor's area. So they basically tricked the crocodiles as the Nile would come up. The crocodiles would swim in and then get trapped. And, and then they'd worship it after they trapped it. And then they'd worship that crocodile. The crocodile would come up onto like a platform. They would open up the doors. People would be like, wow, there's a huge crocodile. And then they would worship the crocodile. <laughs> 